Ryan Yates, what an insane season that man is having in a Nottingham Forest shirt. Who else do you think he'll be playing for but Nottingham Forest because that's who he plays for. I don't know why I said that. He's now scoring goals for fun. Four games in a row. Four goals. Yes! Come on! Come on, Yates! The amount of goals he's getting. Yes! Come on! Everyone knows just how much stick he has got down the years by Forest fans. Not so much me. Also, I thought until I found this tweet uh, when I was angry that Yates was picked against Cardiff in 2020. Uh, really, I don't know why I did that. However, here is a few clips of me defending Yates during a spell when he was still very much the scapegoat. Yates is in, which is good to see. Come on. Ryan, bloody Yates, come on. One nil. That's, uh, that's put everyone down saying that he, he was right to start, you know. This next one is a player that probably gets the most stick out of the entire team. But I, I quite, I rate him quite frankly, Ryan Yates. Yeah, I'd say keep hold of him. Yates is a more bulky guy who will stop counter attacks. He just always is. I just think he's a useful player to have around. You know, I, I don't really see him leaving either. Now, when I was looking for Ryan Yates slander on Twitter, I expected it to all be, you know, at minimum to start of this season. I didn't really think it would go past that. Not the 9th of January. Adam Fisher on Twitter. Not sure why Forest fans have the opinion Ryan Yates is good at football. He's bloody awful. Oh my god. The 9th of January was the day that Forrest knocked Arsenal out of the FA Cup. And he actually, a person, saw that performance against Arsenal and thought, yeah, I'll tweet that about Ryan Yates. Just a little disclaimer, I'm not ripping into any of these people personally, okay? I don't know these people. Just a joke. But I'm just stating facts that people really don't like Ryan Yates or didn't like Ryan Yates. Ryan Yates. How many times can I say that in this video, by the way? Does his contract have a clause in it that he's guaranteed to start every league game with his below average performances week in, week out, no matter who the gaffer is? I just don't get it. Steve Cooper was not in charge, but Stephen Reid was. So this is when this is when Chris Seaton was gone. Okay, you can kind of get away with it, I suppose. Whoever comes in next, I don't want to see Ryan Yates starting a game again. It's not a tweet blaming him for everything. It's a simple fact that he's not good enough for the championship and brings nothing to this team. Okay, nice. You're not good enough. Just straight up. Yep, straight up. You're not good enough, okay? That's why Ryan Yates should never be a professional footballer. Absolutely disgraceful. Bear in mind the date, Boxing Day last year. Ryan Yates had been a completely different player under Steve Cooper. Granted, it was an absolute howl of a mistake against Middlesbrough where he passed the ball into his own net. It was one mistake. This is why Twitter and just football fans in general are so fickle because if a player in the past was really poor, they suddenly are amazing. They make one mistake, they're suddenly dreadful again. And this one for me is my personal favorite. From Sean Melbourne. I'm sure he's a nice bloke, but uh, I don't agree with his opinions on football at all. Especially when you look at his profile picture now. That was tweeted on the 18th of August. How many more chances does Ryan Yates need? The lad is not good enough. End of... I'm not going to say that because, you know, it's a PG friendly channel, this. Subject. Y you appear to like him now because, uh, you know, that's him completely mugging off Yuri Tielemans and James Madison. I rest my case.